Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages that the Divine is wanting to give you in this reading. So in the blockage position, the message that you are receiving is again, the Divine is saying to you, please be aware of any self-sabotaging behaviors, any toxic behaviors, because yet again, the Divine is wanting to remind you that these cause unnecessary challenges and blockages in your life. And sometimes when we are talking about self-sabotaging behaviors, we really think just of the big things like drinking, smoking, you know, toxic behaviors and all of that. And we forget that procrastination, okay, getting in our own way is also self-sabotaging behaviors. How we don't really see ourselves standing in our power, being commanding, being present. This is self-sabotaging behaviors. So the divine is saying it is time to start believing in yourself it is time to start standing in your true being in your true essence in your true divinity because from there all those blockages that are currently standing proud they'll just suddenly fall off because now you are a force to be reckoned with so the next card that we have on the table for you in the weakness position the divine is saying please pay attention to your vibration how do you do that? You pay attention to where your energy is most of the times. You pay attention to what you are consuming mentally because the things that we consume mentally do affect the experiences that we experience in our day-to-day -day life. So be intentional as you're choosing the music, the entertainment that you want to participate in, that you want to give your energy to. Be mindful and be careful and really put yourself on that spiritual diet because in doing so, you're going to see that things will start shifting, changing, and you'll be able to manifest big things for yourself. So I really love that vibe and energy that is there. What you need to release and let go. The divine is saying it is time for you to release and let go, especially how you look after your mental health. How you push, 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 push and push yourself until you're exhausted, until you are bent out. From that energy, you're not able to think clearly. You're not able to see clearly. You are not able to focus when your mind is exhausted, when your mind is bent out. All that happens is you create a lot of like stagnant energy within you. You create those self-sabotaging behaviors because sometimes our minds just needs a moment to breathe, to heal, to relax. Your mind cannot keep on going on at 300 miles an hour, 365 days for the last 10 years. And you don't expect to feel bent out and you don't expect to feel exhausted. The divine is saying, allow yourself to just again relax, do nothing, okay? Listen to things that motivate and uplifts your energies. Just take some time out to take care of your mental health and release the, the thought of like, oh, you know, when I'm wealthy, when this happens, when that happens, that is when I'll start taking care of my mental health. No, 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 no. At that point, you're going to feel tired, exhausted, bent out, that you will not even see some of the opportunities that are knocking that are trying to manifest big things for you. You just remain on that treadmill, running, 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 getting nowhere because your focus is completely off because you don't allow yourself that time to do nothing. Even though it might look like you are doing nothing, you are just resting. Actually, in your mind, you're actually able to see a lot more. Remember, is it Einstein? Right. My, my mind is to go back to the days when I was at school who was just sitting there underneath the apple tree and the apple just plonked and he was able to solve complex equations. Sometimes we feel that we have to be doing things. We have to be active to be able to solve complex problems, complex situations in our lives. When the truth is, epiphany, aha moments, mental clarity can just happen just like that. And most of the times they will happen when you are relaxed, 
Why is this? Because the resistance around you is low. When you're trying to solve a problem, when you're pushing, the resistance is really up. So sometimes what is really obvious to us, we're not able to see. We're not able to perceive. So this is why it is important to shift our attention ever so slightly. Because in that mental shift, this is when a lot of answers, clarity and those epiphanies can come in. So in the strength position, you're receiving our card, which is inciting you to remember, to realize that your life is 100% your responsibility. Okay, so you cannot allow yourself to self-sabotage, to engage in toxic behaviors, to burn your candle from both ends and to just be not taking care of yourself like you really know that you should, not allowing yourself to have that mental health break, not allowing yourself to take care of your mental health. Sometimes it even means just having to go and speak to someone, that therapist, that, that psychiatrist, that friend. But in doing so, you shift a lot of blockages that are around. So the divine is saying, please don't blame the circumstances out there. Don't blame this and that. It is time to take accountability and to have that moment of self-reflection because through the moments of self-reflections, we actually see the behaviors that we engage in that creates those blockages that are really frustrating in our lives. So your strength position is accepting that absolutely your life is 100% your responsibility. Yes, things can happen. Yes, challenges happen. But how you react to those challenges is what makes you completely different to everyone else. That what sets you above the majority of the people. Most people are just working on autopilot. Something happens, they get triggered, they act out of character. Something happens, they get triggered. But for you, you're like, okay, this is what is happening. I'm going to take time to think about it. I'm going to take time to ask myself how I want to respond in that, in that moment of just taking that time out. This is when the shift completely changes because now you're acting with the energy not only of emotional maturity, but you're also acting in your power. When you allow people to trigger you, they have control over you. They have power over you. But when you take time to say, hang on, give me a moment. This is when you're able to take your power back and completely turn the tables around because you're now able to think clearly and then respond accordingly. So let's get our tarot cards on the table. And as we get our tarot cards on the table, I do want to remind you that we are still doing our TikTok live spiritual cleanses every single day. We're having a great time. We're learning a lot. And we're really creating a really nice, beautiful community over there on TikTok. So if you haven't had the opportunity to come and have a look at what is going on over there, please come. You don't have to purchase a cleanse. You can just come and watch. And as you watch, you're going to get a lot of education. I can assure you and I'll allow other people who've had the opportunity to come and watch my spiritual cleanses. I give as much information, education as possible so that you're able to start maneuvering and walking in the world in a completely different way. And of course, if you need your own spiritual cleanse to be done, my website is in the description box below. So if you just want to come, observe and watch, go to TikTok, press the follow button, press the notification bell, press all and then you'll be notified when I am going to be going live. Okay, so I look forward to meeting as many of you as possible. So now we have our cards, our tarot cards on the table. You have one major kind of card of the chariot card. The chariot card is connected to victory. Victory that is connected to taking action. Victory that is connected to us stepping in our power because we are realizing that the action, the energy that we bring to the table ultimately determines the outcome of a situation. 
so we can see you here taking action you're knowing that you are the architect of your experience you're knowing that you are taking 100 percent responsibility of how things are going to be playing out you know exactly what your wishes are and because of that the action that you take allows things to change and shift really really fast the chariots are fast swift and luck is on your side connected to your wishes your heart's desires so i really love that there's a powerful energy that is there okay bear with me just one second all right so we're now looking at high vibration we're now looking at big manifestations and now we are seeing you feeling empowered to take the action that you need to take holding that magic wand once again so you can see that the magic wand is going to be connected to our wishes coming true because if you have been watching our tarot readings if you know tarot you know that the nine of cups is connected to your wishes coming true to your heart's desires being fulfilled so lift your vibration manifest big things you are the one who is holding that magic wand you are the one who is holding the pen that is scripting your life so what are you scripting what are you writing how is the story going to be playing out and because of that this is how you finally take 100 percent responsibility for what you are creating in your life this is how you stop self-sabotaging because now you stand in your power because you're realizing that being the magician being the person who's holding the pen that is creating the experience that you are experiencing you're now seeing that you cannot afford to self-sabotage you cannot afford to get in your own way so i hope that that message is loud and clear for you so as we're looking at our mental health card we were talking before about feeling tired, about feeling exhausted, feeling bent out. And you know, when we are looking at water, this is always our emotions. So your emotions are like up and down, going all over the place. There's a turbulent type of situation that is there. And this is connected to your money. You're trying to juggle a lot. This is connected to your health. There's just a lot that is expected of you. And this is why the divine is saying, take care of your mental health because there's a lot of emotions there's a lot that is going on and at the same time you're expected to show up to produce the results at the same time you're expected to be healthy and be functioning at your highest this is not possible if you don't take time to address what is going on this is not possible if you don't take time just to switch everything off to allow yourself to rest. So as we are going to be moving forward, I'm going to see you really taking responsibility of the actions that you're taking, lifting your energies, okay? Realizing that you're holding that magic wand and you cannot self-sabotage because you then create by default. And when we create by default, it is never experiences that we're wanting to experience. When we create by default, this is what happens. We're all over the place. We get overwhelmed. There's just too much going on. So this is how we have to step in our power and create with full intention. There's just something here connected to that fiery energy, motorbikes, okay? There's just something here that is connected to you really taking some risks. So whatever you're choosing, the message is there loud and clear. So that note, I'm going to hope to see you over on TikTok and I'll see you very soon. It is a goodbye from me.